Welcome back. Get ready to dive into the world of tech with MA Tech. Bringing you the latest updates, reviews, and insights in just a few seconds. The capture button will be a feature on all four iPhone 16 models, serving as a dedicated control for taking photos and videos. This addition aims to enhance the user experience by providing a specialized button for camera functions. CAD renders of the upcoming iPhone 16 models reveal the new capture button on the right side of the device, positioned flush with the device's surface. The action button appears slightly larger in these renders, though it remains uncertain if this will be the final design choice by Apple. These visual representations provide a glimpse into how the new button layout will integrate with the overall design of the iPhone 16 series. Code in iOS 18 confirms that all four iPhone 16 models will utilize the next-generation A18 chip. However, Apple might differentiate the chips between the standard iPhone 16 models and the iPhone 16 Pro variants. It is possible that the A18 chip used in the iPhone 16 models could have fewer GPU cores, either due to binned or disabled cores. In contrast, the iPhone 16 Pro models might feature A18 chips with enhanced GPU capabilities. There is also a possibility that Apple could introduce distinct names for these chips, such as A18 and A18 Pro, to reflect their differing performance levels. This approach would allow Apple to tailor the chip performance to meet the varying needs of the different iPhone 16 models. The upcoming A18 chip is expected to include an upgraded neural engine with a significantly higher number of cores, enhancing its AI and machine learning capabilities. Analyst Jeff Poo suggests that this improvement will enable better performance in AI-driven tasks and features. The A18 chip may also have a larger die size, which could contribute to enhanced overall performance in artificial intelligence applications. Despite these advancements, the chip is anticipated to retain the same 6-core GPU configuration as the A17 Pro, ensuring consistent graphical performance across the iPhone 16 lineup. The iPhone 16 models are anticipated to feature an upgraded thermal design to address overheating issues. Apple is reportedly developing a graphene-based thermal system for these devices. Graphene is known for its excellent thermal conductivity, which could significantly enhance heat management. The iPhone 16 Pro models might also include a metal battery casing designed to improve heat dissipation further. This added feature is expected to help maintain optimal operating temperatures during intensive use, contributing to better overall performance and device longevity. Graphene, known for its superior thermal conductivity compared to copper, is set to be a key component in the iPhone 16 model's thermal design. This advanced material will help manage heat more effectively than the traditional copper heat sinks used in previous models. To further combat overheating issues, the iPhone 16 models will incorporate a larger graphite sheet. This addition will enhance heat dissipation and address potential thermal challenges associated with the Apple Silicon chip, ensuring better performance and stability during high demand usage. The iPhone 16 Pro models are rumored to feature an enhanced 48 megapixel ultra wide camera. This upgrade is expected to improve light capture leading to better photo quality when using the 0.5x zoom mode, particularly in low-light conditions. Similar to the 48-megapixel wide camera, the new ultra-wide sensor is likely to employ pixel binning technology. This process combines data from four individual pixels into one super pixel, resulting in improved image quality and detail. This enhancement will enable the ultra-wide camera to perform better in various lighting scenarios, providing sharper and more vibrant images. Both iPhone 16 Pro models will feature a 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera, enhancing their capability to capture more detail and perform better in low-light conditions. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will distinguish itself with a larger main camera sensor, utilizing a custom 48-megapixel Sony IMX903 sensor. This sensor is designed with a stacked architecture, which improves performance by allowing for better light capture and processing. Additionally, it will incorporate digital gain control to enhance dynamic range and noise reduction, leading to higher quality images. In contrast, the smaller iPhone 16 Pro will use the 48-megapixel Sony IMX803 sensor, which is the same sensor introduced in the iPhone 15 Pro models. While still a high-quality sensor, 
It does not include the advanced features of the IMX903 found in the Pro Max model. In 2024, both the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are expected to feature tetraprism telephoto lenses. This upgrade means that the telephoto capabilities will no longer be exclusive to the larger Pro Max model. With the tetraprism telephoto lenses, both iPhone 16 Pro models are anticipated to offer at least 5x optical zoom and 25x digital zoom. This enhancement will significantly improve the ability to capture detailed images at extended distances, reflecting a notable advancement in the iPhone's zoom technology. The iPhone 16 Pro cameras might feature a new anti-reflective optical coating designed to enhance photo quality. This coating aims to reduce lens flare and ghosting, which are common artifacts seen when bright light sources, such as the sun, enter the lens. By addressing issues like streaks of light and halos that can mar photos, this new coating will improve clarity and reduce unwanted reflections. This upgrade addresses a noted issue with the iPhone 15 Pro cameras, offering a more refined imaging experience in challenging lighting conditions. The iPhone 16 Pro models are rumored to be the first to incorporate Samsung's advanced M14 OLED panel. This new panel is designed to offer superior brightness and longevity, with expectations that it will deliver up to 1,200 nits of typical SDR brightness, an increase of about 20% over current models. The adoption of Samsung's M14 technology is likely to enhance the visual performance of the Pro models, making them brighter and more durable. Additionally, there are rumors that the iPhone 16 models may feature new microlens OLED display technology. This advancement aims to improve power efficiency by enhancing brightness while reducing overall power consumption. If implemented, this technology could lead to better battery life for the iPhone 16 series. However, it is not yet clear whether this microlens OLED technology is part of the M14 panel or if it will be a separate feature in the new models. The iPhone 16 Pro models are set to feature border reduction structure, BRS, technology, which is expected to significantly reduce bezel sizes. BRS technology enables a more compact and efficient arrangement of the circuitry beneath the display, allowing for slimmer bezels without compromising display performance. According to Leaker, Universe Ice, the iPhone 16 Pro is anticipated to have the thinnest bezels of any smartphone, surpassing even the Samsung Galaxy S24. The iPhone 16 Pro is expected to have 1.2mm bezels, while the 16 Pro Max will feature even thinner 1.15mm bezels. These improvements mark a notable reduction from the 1.71mm and 1.55mm bezels of the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, reflecting Apple's focus on a more immersive display experience with minimal border. The iPhone 16 models might feature some minor adjustments to the Face ID system, although specifics are still unclear. Reports suggest that Apple is planning to overhaul Face ID with the launch of the iPhone 16, which could lead to enhancements in security or functionality. A recent development involves an Apple supplier in England losing their contract, allegedly due to Apple's plans to significantly update Face ID. While the exact nature of these changes remains uncertain, it indicates that Apple is aiming to refine and improve the facial recognition technology in their upcoming devices. The iPhone 16 Pro models are expected to retain the same power, volume, and action buttons as seen on the iPhone 15 Pro models, with no significant design changes or updates to these elements. This continuity suggests that while the overall button layout will remain familiar, there will be no major redesigns in these areas. Apple plans to introduce a new capture button on the iPhone 16 Pro models. This button will be situated on the same side of the device as the power button, occupying the space currently used by the 5 GMM wave antenna in the United States. The capture button is anticipated to enhance the user experience by providing an additional control dedicated to photography and video functions. With the introduction of the capture button on the iPhone 16 Pro models, the MM wave cutout will be repositioned to the left side of the device, situated below the volume buttons. This adjustment accommodates the new button while ensuring continued support for advanced 5G connectivity. The capture button will be mechanical rather than capacitive, allowing it to respond to both pressure and touch. It will offer a range of functionalities, zoom control, 
Users can zoom in and out by swiping left and right on the button. Focus. A light press will enable focusing. Recording activation. A firmer press will start video recording. By detecting varying levels of pressure, the capture button will emulate a two-step shutter button similar to those found on digital cameras. This feature will provide a familiar and intuitive experience for users who are accustomed to using physical shutter buttons for photography. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech content. See you next time on MA Tech.